scholars and welcome back. In today's lesson, we will be learning subtraction. We will focus on subtraction as taking away from. Our learning objective is to use expressions to represent subtraction within five. By the end of this video, you will understand, represent, and be able to subtract numbers within five. Before we begin, let's take out our math materials. You will need some paper and a pencil to write down your math problem, an eraser, just in case you want to make any corrections, and last, but certainly not least, you will need your thinking cap. So now that we have our math materials, let's begin our lesson. What does subtraction mean? Hmm, let's think about that for a minute. Subtraction is the process of finding the difference between two numbers indicated by a minus sign. Still not sure? In other words, to subtract means to take away from. Here is what the subtraction sign looks like. So whenever you see this sign, you know that you are going to subtract. So with that in mind, I want you to pay close attention to this next clip, which will show and tell you a subtraction story. Are you ready? Let's go. Subtracting, that means to take away. Subtract means take away. Minus means take away. Let's try a subtraction story this time. Once upon a time, there were nine chickens. One chicken went away. Yeah, they put him in a box and uh, they took him away. Well, how many chickens were left over on the farm? Hmm. Well, I know I started with nine chickens. And I know if I subtract one, that means I'm going to go one number before nine. Let's see what that number is. Oh, that's right. That's the number eight. So nine, nine minus, minus one equals eight. When I subtract, I take chickens away. Back means take away. Awesome. Now let's practice together. Okay, so here we have four students at the library. One, two, three, four. So we start off with four students at the library. One student decides to leave the library, okay? One student leaves the library, so we're gonna take from, we're gonna take away one, and how many students are remaining at the library? How many students do we have left? Well, let's count the students to find out. So we started, remember, we started off with four students all together, okay? We took away one, so four take away one equals, hmm, well let's count them and find out. Count with me, one, two, three. Good job, if you said three, four take away one equals 3, or 4 minus 1 equals 3. Let's try another problem together. Now we have five students at the writing center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, Three students decide to leave the writing center. They're finished their work, and three students are now leaving. So let's take away three. One, two, three. 
How many students are remaining? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. But let's remember, how many students did we start with? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And how many students finished their work and left the writing center? One, two, three. Awesome. So five take away three equals. Hmm. Let's count and see. Count with me. One, two. Awesome. Two. Five take away three is two. Thank you all for participating in today's subtraction lesson. Let's practice. How can you show subtraction as taking from? Hmm. Stop, think, and go. Remember, you want to stop, think, then go. So, I want you to listen carefully. I'm going to give you a little subtraction problem to practice at home. So at home, I want you to practice this particular subtraction problem, okay? All right, you ready? There were five puppies playing in the basket. Three out of the five puppies jumped out of the basket. How many puppies are left in the basket? Hmm, stop, think, and go. Stop, think, then go. Okay? So how many puppies did we start with? Five. We started with five puppies. And what symbol or what sign represents taking away? Correct. The minus sign. Okay, that's the subtraction sign. And how many puppies jumped out of the basket? Yes. Three. So, our math problem, five take away three equals... Well, that's what we're trying to find out. I want you to work on that problem at home, okay? Remember to write down your answer and send it to me or any one of your teachers, all right? Quick recap. Don't forget, as mentioned earlier in our lesson, our objective was to use expressions to represent subtraction within five. Now, we understand subtraction as taking from. We were able to study the pictures throughout, which helped us identify what each problem was asking us to do. With that, we were able to solve each problem together. Give yourself some shine. You've done an awesome, awesome job. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I will see you next time.